Hey, hey, hey! Coming at you live today from Sedona, Arizona, where I have been for a couple of weeks. Absolutely love it here. We are looking for an investment property. And um, also I've been going to the Mayo Clinic, which is down in Scottsdale. So I have an appointment there tomorrow. And depending on if I need testing or not, I may or may not re be returning to Montana or to Scottsdale this weekend. I'm not sure. Um, or Sedona, I meant. But anyway, I wanted to share with you all um, our video today. So hopefully you have been tuning in to these daily quick videos um, where I'm sharing tips and tricks and the inside scoop on how to build a business that will provide you with the financial freedom that will take care of you at during stressful times, which is what we've experienced in our family because of my health. And guess what? I don't have the financial worry to add to the stress. <laughs> so I am feeling incredibly grateful today. And guess what? It is Thursday and it's thankful Thursday. So I want you all, I'm going to give you a challenge today. And um, I'm curious who watching did yesterday's homework. If you did, please drop me a heart emoji. Um, if you are new to these daily videos, please comment new. And if you're watching the replay, please type replay and let me know if you shared the video in the comments below. So the, um, Thankful Thursday, what I want you to do is think what is something in your in your life that is a benefit from your business? Like what is something that you've experienced now, you've created in your life as a result of your business that you feel very thankful for? And I want you to create a post about that to share on social media. You can share it to Instagram, Facebook, you can repurpose your posts, that's one of my tricks. And I also repurpose my videos, you guys. It's an incredible idea. You can use your video content to create your written posts or vice versa. Now. Think about, again, what has your business done for you that you are thankful for? That's what we're gonna be writing a post on today, or maybe you're gonna do a live video like I have committed to doing every day. Yes, it's not easy. Yes, I don't always show up looking perfect, like no makeup, didn't even brush my hair today because to be honest, I couldn't find my hairbrush. I'm staying in an Airbnb, so my um, things are kind of scattered about. And um, yeah, I, I just show up anyway. I just bring some information to you all that hopefully will help you whether I look put together or not. The uh, content is what's important. Important. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you rather me show up authentically me and teach you something than wait until I have it all together and everything's perfect and I feel like showing up? <laughs> Which might not be for a while because I haven't been feeling great. But I want to show up because I am um, rewarded through teaching. I, I have a teacher's heart, so I, I not rewarded through teaching, but how do I say? Fulfilled. I'm fulfilled. That's what I mean. Okay, so we ready for your bonus? Type bonus if you want this bonus. I, I love this. Um, I think that it is very important to be intentional in your business, to have processes and some structure so that when the shit hits the fan and things don't go the way you want it to, whether that's in your personal life, with your health, or whatever the case may be, the economy, I don't know, but that you have some sort of structure that's going to help support you in those times of stress, okay? So one of these things that I want you to choose is pick a day of the week, and Thursday's a great day because this is when I'm giving you the bonus, but basically this is a customer care day. This is when you provide the highest level of customer service. This is when you're reaching out to your customers. You're, you're asking them about their experiences with your product. You're asking them about how are they enjoying the product? Are they curious about, um, learning more about one of the new products. Whatever the case is, I think that checking in with your customers and providing a premium level of customer service will always serve you in your business. Hey, Laura, I asked people to type the word bonus if they wanted to hear my bonus, but no one typed it, so will you? <laughs> Um, I am just sharing this awesome tip. Okay, so basically you're picking in the day of the week that you are going to provide the premium level of customer service. You're checking in with them about their experience with their products. Are Do they have questions about any of the new products or maybe you need to send them or, or maybe ask them, are you curious to see the results that people are having with our new CBD skincare line? 
Are you curious? Like, ask them a question so that they are in, inviting the information. Do you see? And you can send people a, a text. You can pick up the phone. You all, pick up the phone and call people. This is your bonus tip. Like, pick up the phone and call people. And the question is key, right? Ask them, are you curious to see some of the transformative results that people are having with our new CBD skincare line? Like these transformations are literally mind blowing. In fact, even yesterday I was with a realtor um, and we stopped by my Airbnb and I said to her, oh my gosh, you have got to experience this new CBD skincare line. Have you, have you been looking for anything that is more effective than what you've been currently using? And she was like, absolutely. Okay, so my bonuses start to, um, I've got two bonuses. One is the customer, premium customer care. Two is questions, questions questions that speak to the emotional pain that people have, okay? People have emotional pain around how they look, right? They're very self-conscious about maybe the skin, if they have skin that has a lot of um, acne or the sunspots or all, you know, the rashes, etc. that people can get. They get very self-conscious and that can be a very painful thing, not only physically, but emotionally because of the self-conscious piece. So asking questions I have found is key because it invites them into the conversation with you rather than you throwing up information on them. Um, <laughs> Laura and I were at a company many years ago. I do you remember this, Laura, we were on a trip and um, we were talking about how to, how to effectively do sales. <laughs> And our company was called Private Quarters, and we called it the PQ flu. When you threw up information on people without pausing to get their feedback, without asking a question, and that always stuck with me. Like, rather than barfing all of this information up on people, um, I became very skilled at asking questions, the soft sale. In fact, there's a book on Amazon, and oh my goodness, I got a figure out what book it is. I still have it, but it's called The Soft Sell, I think it was, and it has a green cover. Laura, we've got to figure out what book that was and share that. Um, but <laughs> very effective. You want to be someone who becomes known for soft sales because that just means that you're speaking to the pain points of the person, and I guarantee you they have them. We all have them, right? Um, like right now, I'm sure if someone came to me with some kind of solution for whatever it is that's going on with my right upper quadrant pain and they spoke directly to that and they asked me, would I be open to learning more about it or am I curious to learn more about it? I would be like, hell yeah, <laughs> like give it to me because that's where my emotional pain is. Do you guys see? So this is my bonus to you today is think about where is the emotional pain of the customer or the prospect and use questions. Use questions because they're highly effective because the brain doesn't shut down when we ask questions. We instead, the brain starts to search for answers and then we're engaged in the conversation versus if you're a parent, you know, if you go and lecture your kids, what do they do? They shut down and they shrug at you. <laughs> they don't listen. So this has been very effective. So that's one bonus. The other bonus was premium level of customer service. Where Are you gonna offer them some credits? Are you going to give them maybe a sample of free product? Maybe, have they been ordering with you on AutoShip for two years and you've never sent them a free box of Pro Bars or maybe a free box of Rest or maybe a free box of a different flavor of, of Lifestyle Mix? I don't know. Right, so think about it. Think about it. What uh, do you need? Not what do you need, but how can you engage with your customers and provide them with a premium level of customer service so that they feel valued and so that you're engaged with your customers and even your promoters, you guys. I'll tell you what, one of the best ways to build your business is to reach out, ask questions to those who have free accounts with you who have not ordered yet, right? Ask, ask them if, you, if they would like a sample of maybe one of our, like I said, one of our pro bars. Maybe they want a sample of the three simple steps. I don't know. But you need to like put that on your calendar so that it's something that you do. And remember when I said earlier, when the shit hits the fan and things are stressful for you in your life, if you don't have systems and structures and how that you're showing up in your business on what day of the week, you won't show up and then things will fall apart.
and that's not what we want for you because I am proof that building a online business that provides you with a residual income when the shit hits the fan and things don't go the way that you want it to you're gonna be so grateful like beyond words so grateful for the business that you have built the systems and structures that you have in place right the support that you have in place, the team, the online team, the, the local team that you have built to support yourself, that you all will provide you with